after a pretty successful outing in the last train in SOS. Beth Victor have really decided to up their stakes. This is a team that needs help, and they need it quick. Can't on goal. Oh, I'm in your problems. I'm on the east coast of Ireland, just south of Dublin with Greystones United. Get round, get round! Look how overloaded it is. A team in big trouble. We're our worst enemy. Can't pass the ball to you, that's nice. Over the course of the next few weeks, myself and some of the best in the business are going to try and help save their season. Oh, no. Is that the window? The, gutter? the switch is on! Not that switch, the f***ing left back. Good ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is Training SOS. Bounce it in. Good, good, Dan. Good. Good, Coggy. Marty. Oh, here. How's it going, okay. Man? Right. You OK? Things? Yeah, not bad. It looks like it's a good setup when everything's in place. What's, yeah. what's the history of the club? What's the story behind it? Yeah, so we're two Greystones teams. This team sort of got promoted, I think, seven uh, years in a row. So kind of started at the you bottom. Bump, 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 yeah, bump. all the way, all the way up to, okay. to, to the armor divisions. Yeah. Three years in the top division. We got relegated last year. We're in the second division this year. Played about 13 games out of 26. Last nine, draw four. What, you still got the job? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a <the> mouth. <laughs> goals, you scoring goals? No. Are you stopping goals going in? No. No, we're, we're losing games 1-0, one, 2-1. One we're not getting... Are you not getting tonked? No, we're not getting tonked, you know. Not to start? Yeah. yeah All right, mate, you OK? Yeah, mate, what's going on? Are you? Skipper? Yeah. What kind of skipper are you? Centre mid, leader. Are you talking or? Yeah, talker, yeah. I'm more and more kind of warm the heart up, give him a little. Ah, yeah. <laughs> a bit of a yeah, cuddle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, who's the who's the jokers? Tomo when he shows up the train. Where is he? In the in the black there. Yeah, it's <laughs> like he's got his Mrs. Jim gear on there. Look at that. I'll take them kicks out, look. <laughs> we got relegated last year. We lost probably nine of eleven players from there. Okay. So this is kind of a brand new team. It's basically oh, staying up this season. Staying up. Right now, Sesson, staying up. Yeah. And yeah. then we go again next year. 100 percent Three three go down, we're rock bottom. Two wins will get us out of it. Okay. So, it's still, tight. but now, two wins are hard to get. <laughs> well, they are, yeah. Chaps, how are you? Just been watching you train, loads of energy, you can all play. It was struggling a little bit with confidence, so we're going to try and put it right and stay in this division. With goals being the problem, let's put a shooting session on, score some goals, and hopefully it filters into the game tomorrow. Little one-twos. Right, spin. Go on, go on, go on, make it finish. Right, let's get it going so we don't get cold, yeah? Oh. Uh, here you go. Target. Target. <laughs> Come. That's you got the work. Yep. Oh, I love that. Last couple. And then we're in. Finish it. There you go. That'll do me. What's the problem? So the mood around the team isn't great. Understandable when you haven't won a game all season. With just 13 games left to go, that needs to change quickly. And what better way for us to start than with a big six-pointer against one of your relegation rivals? Well, it's just the first clear up the small thing with the TV camera in the room and going to record a match. So look, it's a massive opportunity for some of you that you might get your move across the water. Yeah, so let's uh, try, try and take that opportunity. It's a joke, Caleb. Look, just ignore, ignore the cameras. We have a game to win. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Sophie and Layla, let's rock and roll. Sarah, come on, let's go. It's too cold out there. Keep talking to them. Look at the space, you're in acres. Davey! Set him nice. Touch, 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 touch. Good boy. Oh! Look, you make. Pass, pass, pass. Come on, Davy. Come on, Dan. Come on, Dan. Touch, touch, touch. Body, body, and. Yes! Good pen. Get round, get round! Look how overloaded it is. Mm. That's a good ball. Decent. That's a good ball. Lock it back. Good boy. Finish. finish. Yes. Great goal. Playing really well. Loads of energy, loads of enthusiasm. Just tweak a few things. There's more goals in it for him.
Game manager in concentration now. Don't panic yet. Yes, hey. Work. The basics are there. You know, you're in good hands with the boys. They know what they're doing. You've got more than enough to stay in this division. For now, just keep working hard and, um, and you will be fine. Well done today. Really enjoyed it. Well, the starts go, that couldn't have gone much better. And in the weeks that followed, Greystones began to slowly creep up the table. But there is still plenty of work to be done. So in a bid to step up the training, I've arranged a little trip for the boys. And whilst I can't be there myself, I'm going to make sure they're looked after. This is the one I'm out of Imagine playing in front of a full stadium. Out on there. Chasing Trent up and down, up and down that line. Right, lads, must introduce the Liverpool's new manager, Marty. Happy days. We're going to play 4 4 2. We're going to back to our front as quick as we possibly can. We're going to score some goals. Hey, boys, how are you doing? Uh, sorry, I can't be with you. I've sent someone down who I'm sure you will recognise, and he was pretty good himself back in the day. So I hope you enjoy it, and um, keep up all the good work, and I'll speak to you soon, chaps. Gentlemen, how are we doing? No, 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 I'm too young to be Mr. Barnes. I'm John. How are you doing, you okay? The good news is I'm here, but the good news is also Jason McIntyre couldn't make it. Because he said to me, the reason, and I've looked at your results, and you've got an upturn of fortune. I don't know how that is. Obviously, you did the opposite of what Jason McIntyre told you. You must have. <laughs> and right, lads, let's go. Davey, okay, you, 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 you look like you've got a good left foot. Left leg, eh? Davey looks like he's got a good left foot. What we all like to do is to dribble, and we are very good at that without thinking about the end product of the final delivery. In your head, when you're dribbling, it's... <laughs> you're moving, you're changing, and it's a lot of noise. Just before you make the final contact and the final delivery is when you have to be still... I say being still inside. Because why people don't do that is because they think, if I don't hurry, he's going to come back and tackle me. But you have much more time than you think. Drive, drive. Get it? Oh. Gentlemen, you know what all sports is about. I'm not a goalkeeper, but I'm a sportsman, I'm a footballer. And there's no difference between tennis, boxing, football, squash, most sports that we do. You know what it's about? Footwork. You have goalkeepers who dive around a lot. And they dive around a lot because they don't move their feet quick enough. So if you're looking at what you're doing there, in terms of because you were moving your feet so well and so quickly, yeah. you didn't have to dive, did you? No. That's because of the way you were moving your feet, which is good. Slow, slow, now go, go, get across him. That should have been you across the near post. Lads, listen in, listen in. The person here, he's the one who's going to make the near post run, right? But what's happening a lot is because the man who was making the near post run wants to score. What he's doing is he's holding out, he's holding out. So if the ball goes into the near post, he can get it. If it comes into the middle, he can get it. That's not what you do. You may have to make a decoy run, and if it means you get across the keeper for the ball to come behind you for someone else to score, so be it. Gauge it, gauge it. Get across the keeper. Good. Maybe you didn't get the ball, but you created the space for the other man. But when you actually train is when you win matches. The work you put in and the effort and the concentration in little exercises like this. So when all of a sudden in the game, you play a one, two, or you have a shot or a cross comes in, and it works perfectly and you score and you think, flipping, how did that happen? It's because of the concentration you do on the training ground. The training ground is the most important thing. <laughs> All the best, lads. Thank you. Listen, and I can tell you this now, I'm going to check out your next five results. Yeah? And if they're not better than when McAteer came to talk <laughs> I'm giving up. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Next time on Training SOS, the lads are treated to a training session of a lifetime at Melwood with Jürgen and Co. <laughs> I head back to Greystones as the boys face another crucial game in their battle to beat the drop. Great ball in. Oh, That's all next time on Training SOS.